guys how are we all doing all right i am recording a vlog this week um you'll probably see it after this little bit as if you've watched my recording from last week my vlog from last week you'll know that i was approached by an american camera company uh, by the name of acaso now i do use an acaso camera which is what that camera is there and i'm going to use that that's the normal one i use for my forward facing uh, camera for when i do my time lapses or the big screen or whatever else that's the camera i use so i use an acaso anyway um but they've uh, they approached me and asked me if i could do a review uh, or I would like to do a review on one of their new dash cameras out and I said yes I'll do one so they sent me one and it arrives the next day uh, which was last Wednesday I think it was um, I haven't opened I've opened it to have a quick look it's right by here um, that's the Acaso box that's what it comes in it's a dual 1080p car DVR with Sony Starvis technology now the St Sony Starvis uh, I've had a quick look about Sony Starvis. It's actually an infrared system uh, that can actually read number plates in the dark. It doesn't, whether, it doesn't matter whether there's any lights on uh, or not. Because it's an infrared system, it'll read a number plate in the dark. So if you ever have a problem at night, then it can still see it. Um, hopefully I'm going to see if I can, if I'm working late enough this evening, I'm going to get it going in the, in the dark, have a look at it, and I'll obviously show you. But I thought I'd open the box with you. Um, I've, all I've done is taken the top cover off. Uh, and that's all I've done, because it comes um, with obviously like a uh, protective package on it. So, if I put that there, this is a little tray for my, uh, for my drawer. Um, I thought this was the easiest way of doing it. So, we open the box up. Let's have a look, see what we got inside, is it? Right, you got a quick reference guide. Um, looks pretty straightforward. Pictures and yeah, probably just a quick starter up guide to let you know exactly what to do with it. So I'll have a look at that in a bit. So a quick reference guide. What else we got? Uh, oh, we want to hear from you. Get a free dash cam. How to claim? So there we are. Get another free dash cam maybe. Um, and basically how to show you how to set it all up. So that's that one. Right. We also have the window mount. Nice little tidy window mount. Not too big. So, there's your window mount. So, happy days on that one. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, yeah. Alright, we've got the power cable. And by the look of it, it also comes with some little, yeah, little wire holders. So, if you wanted to trace the wires around somewhere then that holds the wire let's see how long this is hmm not that long if I'm honest uh, if you were if you want a dash cam and obviously you want to put it somewhere where it can be seen where you can see outside and you're gonna want quite a bit of cable to actually run it now to me that's not long enough um, but that's just my view we'll have a look um, I think my dash cam that I use already has the same connector on it so I might be able to use that one we will see uh, what else we got yet or is that the USB ah no 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 ah there we are see see what happens when you don't look properly so that is obviously your transfer cable your power cable is here Ah, that's better. There's lots of cable on there. And it just goes to show that I haven't opened the box yet. <laughs> oh yeah, plenty of wire on there, look. Loads and loads and loads of it. Uh, obviously with your power plug and you also get a USB on the back of it as well. So you can also plug something else in that's got USB on it. So. That's the power cable and he also comes with a little tool now that basically is if you're tracing the wires around especially with me I could either trace it up around the window or down the bottom of the window just push the cable in so it's out the way 
It's a nice little, uh, nice little handy tool that. And last but not least, the actual camera. Well, that's not too bad, is it? And the beauty about this camera is actually records front and rear. So if you want one, if you're, um, if there's any taxi drivers out there that watches my vlogs, um, Uber drivers or whatever else, this could be very handy for you because it actually records front and rear. You can have front only, uh, which I believe records at 1080 at 60. And if you have the both cameras going, it records at 1080 at 30, which isn't too bad. Um, because my GoPro 3 runs at 1080 at 30, and that's fine. That's what I used to use before I used the 5. So, yes. Uh, also got the so it's also fitted with the the Sony Stavis and I believe that the rear camera only records in black and white uh, and that has a just a normal night vision camera on it so you can still see at night inside the car and you got the star Sony Stavis fitted to the front camera which means you can see uh, well the camera can pick up number plates uh, during the uh, during the evening whether there's, whether there's street lights or not. Uh, but I will test that out So that's the camera where you can see it properly there. That's the front camera there And obviously got your rear camera there So it's not too bad now To actually mount the camera you take out the little Cover there That fits into there slots in nicely click it in and There you go Put your little rubber mount back in and it all looks tidy. Well, that's not bad. So the next thing to do now is set it all up. I'll have a quick look to see how it all works and I'll come back to you. Excuse me. Um, I will come back to you with a report on it and I will now show. Obviously, I'll take it out for a spin when I uh, finish my break and we'll see how it records. Uh, see if there's any sound on it. I believe there's a microphone on the side. Speaker there. Yeah, microphone there. So yeah, so it does record sound as well. And obviously there's your um, slot for your SD card. And I think that side button is uh, for reverting from front to front and rear. But I will have a look and I'll let you know. So that's it out the box. You've seen what comes with it. <laughs> Apologies on the short cable. That's just a transfer cable. Obviously, you've got the nice long mount. Long mount. You've got the nice long lead uh, to be able to mount it whenever you want to. So I'll set it all up, uh, and then I'll get the camera going. Uh, so the next bit you'll see then is a little bit of footage of the front camera, hopefully a bit of the rear camera, and if I can get it, uh, if I do drive a bit later, because obviously the evenings are getting light, lighter and lighter now. If I am driving this evening and it's dark out there, I'll get the camera going again and we'll see how it records in the dark. So, uh, enjoy the next little bit of footage and I will come back to you after I've recorded the footage and give you my opinions on it. So until then, catch you in a bit guys. Toodles!
ready? I never thought I'd ever see you. Don't tell me you watch me on YouTube. I did. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of uh, footage on the clips. Uh, I took three different types of clips on that one. I took the rear one, uh, the front one, and obviously the night vision as well. Now the night vision I, I found really, really good. The clarity of all three different types, even the black and white uh, record at 1080 at 30 was still good. The angle was superb. Uh, you got a 170 degree angle on the front and the rear. So even the rear camera's got a 170 degree angle uh, width. Uh, for recording so I literally put it in the middle of the screen and you could see the whole of the cab you could see me driving you could see the passenger seat it's really really good and the front camera is brilliant you can have it at 1080 at 60 if you're recording on its own if you're recording both you have 1080 at 30 frames per second and and to me the 30 frames per second was just as good as the 60 in clarity wise I've had a look at them all on the computer before um, I've uploaded them. Obviously, you've seen them now, but I haven't seen them on the big screen, but I've seen them on my laptop, and it looks really, really good. I'm going to put something together with the three together or something or other. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but you'll have already seen it. Uh, the camera itself. I've got this camera going as well, as you can see. Um, it has a rear screen, rear LCD screen, and the menu is very, very simple. Uh, Whether you can see there, press for the menu button you've got your camera settings and you've also got the normal settings so if I put on the camera settings for the minute you got your resolution your loop recording um, you can switch the loop recording off I'm looking at that camera uh, switch the loop recording off so you can have it just constantly recording or you can have it set for one two or five minute loop recording um, it's got uh, the dual cam display you can switch that on or off and you got the wide um, WDR which is a wide recording system uh, you can have your audio on or off so you can actually record any audio uh, you can obviously set up your date time and everything else and then you've got your G sensor as well which you can set up to either low medium or high or you can actually turn the G sensor off which is the shock sensor if you have a bump and it will automatically lock the video uh, if I go back on that I'm hoping you can see this um, you can also go over to the settings if you go into the settings menu no I've gone back now uh, Oh, the settings menu okay and that's where you got your screensaver you can actually have a screensaver on or off so you can either have it set up for one minute uh, two minutes three minutes whatever uh, and then the screen will go off or you can have it on constantly it all depends on what you want you got the date and time you have your beep sound sound, uh, sound on or off and uh, obviously your language as well uh, the parking monitor you can have that switched on or off now the parking monitor basically you keep the um, the camera on It'll go into standby mode, uh, but when if someone hits the car, then it will actually start automatic recording. And if it's at night, because of the the Starvis, the Sony Starvis system on it, it will pick up the number plate of any car that's actually leaving, as long as it's going the right way. Um, you can format it. Uh, the card itself, um, you can have up to an 128 gig card in there. Um, I've only got a 64-bit um, in there at the moment, but I think I will get 128. Um, it doesn't come with any Wi-Fi or GPS uh, so it's basically just um, a dash cam you can't connect it to your phone uh, it doesn't tell you the speed that you're going um, but uh, the camera itself I think is absolutely superb um, I'm gonna constantly use it um, see I did have another one up there uh, but this one is absolutely superb and the clarity on the picture is fantastic so I'm I'm well impressed with it um, I would advise anyone to buy one um, the good news is there is a discount uh, I have a code which will now be on the screen down here that will give you 20% off the price um, 
I believe the 79.99 so that will give you 16 pound off which isn't bad really or just under 16 pound so uh, I'll put the link below as well so you'll have the link direct to the uh, the product and the uh, discount code will be there as well I can't emphasize how much I'm I like this it is really really I'm not just saying that for the sake of because I'm doing a review and because they sent me a camera if I thought it was rubbish I tell it was rubbish um, hopefully the, the clarity of the pictures will speak for themselves in the little bit of recording that I've done so hopefully you'll pick that up um, with the way that I've done it um, sorry about that uh, right so yeah I can't emphasize how much how, how good it is so uh, yeah I'll put the link below um, I'll have put the discount code on the screen and also put the, the discount code below as well so if you like it then go and have a look and, and go from there so yeah I can't uh, can't stress anymore how good I think it is so hope you've enjoyed the video uh, the review uh, I've enjoyed doing it uh, I got a nice little camera as well so that's, that's good um, so until the next time uh, you'll see me next in the vlog now <laughs> so I'll, until then take care guys whatever you're doing be safe be good and I'll catch you in the next one Doodles. <laughs>